Hello, brothers and sisters. I want to talk to you today about three dreams that I had related to the harvest, that is, the salvation of those who do not yet know Jesus, that God is doing a great thing in our days. These are the end times, the last days, and specifically, much has been said and confirmed in the body of Christ about the one billion soul harvest that would happen even in our generation. And I had a dream of an old song, I grew up in the church, uh, an old song that we would sing probably about 20 to 30 years ago, uh, and it, it came from Joel 2, and the line of the song that was in my dream is, they rush on the city, they run on the walls, great is the army, that carries out your word. The Lord utters his voice, and great is the army that carries out your word. That was the dream. It was more like a word in my dream. There was no content to the dream. Uh, and uh, just a bit later, all, all three of these have been in the last two to three weeks, but just a bit later, I had a dream of my neighbor saying one billion one family one billion people this was further confirmation to me brothers and sisters that the timing of this is now this being what an exponential increase of the rapid multiplication of disciples, of people coming into the family of God through faith in Jesus Christ. Thirdly, I dreamt that I was in line at a concentration camp as one of the persecuted. I was waiting to be registered into the camp, and I was called up to a platform, and I stood on the platform with a woman who then fell back off the platform as though it was a deck going into a pool. And she fell into this body of water behind her. And I reached and calmly helped her up. And then she fell back again before she could register me. Now she had tears in her eyes as I helped her up again. And I said, do you know who Jesus Christ is? And she, she said, I think a, a historical figure. Or a, and I said, um, ask Jesus to reveal himself to you. He will show himself to you. And then uh, the next scene was uh, my standing at a, uh, the cabin where a high school friend of mine uh, was. He is a Catholic believer himself. Uh, and I asked him, how did you know what cabin you were in? And I don't remember his answer to me. But lastly, I remember that the per our persecutors put us in a movie theater to make us watch something. And I knew at that point that they were probably going to come into this contained area and kill us. Sure enough, a man came in with a gun and started shooting. And I hid in the aisle, and the dream ended. I just want to share with you a few thoughts from that dream. One is, blessed are those who are persecuted for my namesake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I noted from the dream and reflecting on it much that I had a lot of peace in the dream and so did those in line with me, that even as I ministered to my persecutor directly, there was grace to minister in God's presence uh, in that place. She was moved by God's presence in his people. Beyond our being happy as the persecuted, for being persecuted for his namesake, it strikes me, it struck me for the first time, and maybe you've thought of this, the privilege of being able to minister to your persecutors. Actually, to be able to reach persecutors, the only way to do that is to be a prisoner, in a sense, right? Uh, the only way to reach those who are persecuting Christians namely, would be to be a prisoner. 
And so the privilege to actually reach that people group, so to speak, and the compassion and the love that God gives supernaturally to love those who hate you. Fear has to do with punishment, but perfect love casts out fear. And there was no fear in God's people, though they were persecuted. Even as I stood in line, I remember vividly there were dead, decaying, and dying bodies around me. The situation was literally grave. But I knew the peace of Christ in that moment and the love and compassion of Christ for those people in the dream. Brothers and sisters, we are part of an end times movement where perfect love casts out fear, compassion brings healing and salvation, and we get to be a part of it. When Jesus says, follow me, it's to be with him and to do with him what it is that he's up to in the world. What a gift. God bless you, brothers and sisters. I just want to pray into this with you. Father, thank you for the privilege and honor of being in relationship with you and serving you, of doing your bidding by your power. Oh God, fill us afresh, Lord God, to be witnesses to our Jerusalems, Judeas, Samarias, and the remotest parts of the earth. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, brothers and sisters.